sharks that glow in the dark to sharks with two heads. Here are 14 of the rarest sharks in the world. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. First, let's give a shout out to Joyce Joseph. She writes, I always learn about new things on this channel. It gets me places I cannot get to myself. Thanks. Well, thank you, Joyce, for those nice words. We really do appreciate that. And for being a subscriber. Cheers. Number 14. Pajama Shark. The native to South African waters and are distinguished by the dark, thick stripes that run parallel along its body. It grows a little over three and a half feet long and is mostly nocturnal. During the day, they hide in the cracks of shallow reefs to avoid predators, which are often larger sharks. Did you know that when they're threatened, the pajama shark will curl itself into a circle with its tail covering its head to avoid being detected? Energizer Bunny Shark. So you never heard of such an animal? But it's really a nickname given to a mako shark that scientists identified as Hell's Bay, which is actually a cooler nickname when you think of it. Now this critter set a new world record when he managed to travel more than 13,000 miles in 600 days. The rare accomplishment equals a distance roughly equal to halfway around the world. The shark's persistence drew comparisons to the Energizer Bunny, which of course keeps going and going and going and so forth. Cookie Cutter Shark. These critters are only about 22 inches long, and due to that smallish size, it's also called the Cigar Shark. But it has the largest teeth of any shark relative to its size. Those choppers resemble a bandsaw and can chew out round plugs of flesh from its prey. The wounds look as if they were caused by a cookie cutter, and those unique looking wounds have been seen on many fish and marine mammals, as well as on undersea cables and submarines. Thresher Shark. A fisherman in California caught one of these critters that weighed around 550 pounds and measured some 20 feet long. The animal's strange appearance made some people wonder if it was real. Thresher sharks have tails which can be nearly as long as the body, which they use as a weapon to stun prey. They're usually content to dwell around 1,600 feet deep. In this case, the animal was close enough for the fisherman to snare. While they aren't normally aggressive toward humans, the sharks are known to be powerful, and it evidently took several men aboard the ship to finally bring the beast in. Zebra Shark the animal is named after the equine creature because of the way it appears as a juvenile. Now at that stage, they exhibit bright vertical stripes against a dark background. You can see an example of that pattern in the picture from Sea Life at Loch Lomond in Scotland. That striping is strangely similar to a zebra's, isn't it? As they mature, the sharks will develop a pattern of dark spots on a light background. And along the way to adulthood, they also develop distinctive longitudinal ridges along the body. The found in waters of the Indo-Pacific region. Megamouth Shark. This critter was first discovered in 1976, and sightings of them have been few and far between. In 2015, one of the alien-looking creatures washed ashore in the Philippines, and that was thought to be only the 60th such sighting. It's recognized by its large head and mouth, and can reach lengths of 18 feet and weigh more than 2,600 pounds. The one in the Philippines measured around 15 feet and had already died by the time it was found. Its remains were preserved until marine biologists could perform a necropsy on it. Did you know these shark can lure prey like plankton using luminous photophores that flank its enormous mouth? When seen, it's usually around the Philippines, Taiwan, and Japan. Hybrid sharks. Around 57 hybrid sharks have been discovered in Australian waters, and some experts think the discovery could have implications that extend worldwide. Marine biologists found the predators had DNA from both the Australian black tip shark and the common black tip shark, something experts say is unprecedented. If the hybrids prove stronger than the pure breeds, they might eventually replace them. The hybrids are thought to have a size somewhere between that of the Australian black tip, which measures nearly six Six feet and the common black tip, which goes around five feet.
Greenland shark. A major reason why these animals are rarely sighted is due to the habitat. They favor the cold waters of the North Atlantic Ocean, where they swim at depths up to 2,200 meters. Weighing around 2,500 pounds, they can reach lengths of 20 feet with lifespans that could be centuries long. In 1938, one of the animals was captured and tagged near Greenland. In 1952, it was recaptured, and scientists noted that it had grown more than two inches longer. Extrapolating those numbers, scientists calculated that a mature seven-meter Greenland shark could be over 200 years old. Frilled shark. This critter is found across the globe, but since it usually lives at depths around 4,200 feet, they're not often seen, which is one reason why it wasn't spotted in the wild until 2004. The eel-like animals date back around some 80 million years and have changed so little over time that they're often referred to as living fossils. They can grow over six and a half feet long and can strike at prey with a snake-like motion. And when they strike, they do so with a mouth that is filled with 300 sharp teeth shaped like tridents that face backward. That even sounds scary, doesn't it? Did you know the critter is named for its six pairs of gill slits, which have a frilled appearance? Pocket shark. Of course, sharks usually bring up images of ferocious, man-eating monsters. But a shark caught off the Gulf of Mexico was more adorable than aggressive. The extremely rare species only measures about five and a half inches long and weighs about half an ounce. The male specimen was just the second of its kind ever caught. The first such creature was found in 1936 in the Pacific Ocean. This one was actually caught in 2010, then spent years on ice, literally, until researchers could formally identify it. The pocket shark isn't named for its small size, though. The creature has two pockets located near its front fins, but researchers still don't know what purpose they might serve. Glowing sharks. Did you know that sharks could glow? Researchers have found that cat sharks and swell sharks have biofluorescent abilities. That is, they can absorb light and then re-emit it at a different color or wavelength. In the case of these sharks, they begin to glow bright green as they descend deeper into the waters. Amazing patterns on the animal's skin become more pronounced the deeper they dive. Experts think the ability enables the sharks to communicate with each other at greater depths. Goblin Shark. Now this critter has always seemed to be a favorite on Deep Sea Sunday. The Goblin Shark is identified by its long, flat snout and pink skin, but it's probably best known for its powerful jaws, which can literally pop out of its mouth and catch prey with its razor-sharp teeth. The image usually evokes the xenomorph from those alien movies. These deep sea animals have been around for a long time. Did you know it's the last remaining member of a family that stretches back around 125 million years? They tend to remain mysterious creatures since they favor freezing waters and depths exceeding 4,000 feet. False Cat Shark. Now here's another species of shark that favors depths of close to 5,000 feet, so it's rarely seen as well. Such was the case in 2015 when one of the creatures was found in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland near the Eye of Bada. That was only the second time a false cat shark was found in the region. The animals can grow to nearly 10 feet long and weighed around 132 pounds. The fisherman who caught the animal thought it resembled a large, unused sofa. But thankfully, instead of using it as such, they released it back to the water after measuring and weighing it. A good thing too, since the false cat shark is the only member of its genus. Two-Headed Sharks. Now, these critters seem to be popping up at an unprecedented rate in waters around the world, and it has left experts baffled as to exactly why. The creatures first started appearing in 2008. That's when the embryo of a blue shark with two heads was found off the Australian coast. In 2013, fishermen in Florida found a two-headed fetus in the uterus of a bull shark. And more recently, a two-headed Atlantic sawtail catfish embryo was discovered in a Spanish lab by researchers 
was there. It was the first example of a two-headed shark that was born by a oviparous species of shark, or one that lays eggs. Experts say such creatures wouldn't last long in the wild, though, which could explain why no such egg-laying sharks have been found so far. Scientists speculate that causes for the mutations might be linked to viral infections, pollution, or overfishing. As shark populations are thinned out, the gene pool contracts, which increases the chance of inbreeding, and that brings along the higher risk of passing along genetic abnormalities.